everybody and welcome to video number three of Scrap Room Organization. Today I'm going to be cleaning up behind me and getting that organized. And so the first step of this whole thing is to introduce to you what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it and then I'm going to pause the video, show you what I've done and, and what I've cleaned up and then I'm going to start organizing it. I'm hoping the video won't be too long but I think it might be <laughs> so um, just get yourself a cup of coffee or and get yourself some paper some notes so you can write down some notes and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and get started on cleaning up the back part behind me here which is a hot mess doesn't have to be wiped down usually I, sometimes I have to wipe them down but it, everything is dusted I used a duster so it's all clean there's nothing really left up here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start organizing things before I put them back up here so that is one of the things that I have to do because I don't want it to be cluttered again and so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that Okay, so it looks a lot nicer, you guys. I am so happy I did this. It just makes it easier for when I add the other cubes on top. All I have to do is just add them on top and then lift everything up and put it up another level. So that is what I did today. This needed to be done. Now I am going to get started on organizing um, a few other things that came off of there and putting them in their rifle areas. This is what's left that I need to put up there or figure out where I want to put these items here. Um, I'm trying to get, you know, to the point to where, you know, I can get these things up. And you can see that bowl right there, the little glass bowl is full of goodies. And I want to make sure that I get those things up and all these post-its out of here and things like that and find a home for the rest of this stuff. So this is what's left. Oh, that's not including a duster. <laughs> and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the rest of this stuff. And I will get back to you. I will show you where I'm going to put it. Okay, so this is what's left. 
what I did was I had so many of those paper clips that I took them and put them all in here. So this is the first thing that, that goes into one of those recollections containers that I had shown um, in the very first video. And then I have here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, so I might have to just put it in the storage box in the garage for now. And then I have this book, which I made with um, um, a bunch of scraps that I have. And I thought this was pretty cute because this idea came from Susie Fish. And I thought this was a great idea to do with 3 by 4 cards. And as you can see, this, this is what it looks like. And um, I just have to repair this part right here, the tape that's on the very front here. So I'm going to repair that. And then I don't, I'm not, not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might do like a little giveaway or something like that because I have two of them. So um, I'll think about that. I might. Um, anyway, so once I repair it, hopefully whoever I give it to will like it. And um, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's what's left. And um, that is the area here that is all cleaned up. And it looks much nicer and less cluttered. And I really like it like that. And over here, I don't know if if I've mentioned it, but this is a section where I go to a lot. Um, in this first box right here, I have all of my Allie Edwards stuff. And then in this box right here, I have my all of my tags and things like that. Um, um, not tags. Um, well, labels. There. I knew it was something I was going to call it. This is a bunch of labels. And then in this one right here is all of my 4x6s cards from the Allie Edwards Story Kits as well. And then back here is all tags. All tags. I mean, this is where I put them at. I, they finally ended up finding their own home. And I'm happy because now when I need a tag, I know exactly where to go to find it. And then back here, I don't know for sure if I'm going to sort this out or anytime soon. But this is just a bunch of different kinds of journaling cards, die, ta um, die cuts, some die cuts, and a lot of the stuff that's in here is pretty old. It's been around for a little while, so um, that's what's there. So that's what's in this section right here. I didn't have to go through any of that stuff, but it is still organized. I put my pins back over here, regular pins. I also have a half-inch ATG gun back there. And then I have all of my small alphas and stickers right here. As you can see, these are all, and some of them, the ones that are alike, they're all together in like little plastic things. So um, but this is all of my small alphas here. And this whole thing is just completely full. Um, so that's what it looks like from the, from the side. And then all the way to the back there to the, all of my honey swap. I even have some basic gray still left over. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so and then right here is where I have um, three traveler's notebooks here um, that are not quite finished yet. So I add as I go. And then I have my sketchbook here and my one little word um, notepad here that I had gotten. A while ago I'll put that back because I need two hands to put that back and these are my stumps from when I'm blending as you can see and then at the bottom here I have my um, I forgot what these were called you guys uh -huh. anyway I have my um, the pins the bull brush pins with Winkostella that's what it is these are called Winkostellas anyway so that's what I have here I have three of those down there and a gigabyte card here and hmm, a receipt. We'll just take that out of there because that's not supposed to be in there. Okay, and then I have my two little decorative thingies there that my daughter got me from Cuba when she went last year. She brought me back these thingies here. And this one has my name in it, <laughs> which I thought was pretty cute of her to do that. And then a little tiny little Moroccan, or what do you call this, shaker? Moroccan? Yeah. I forgot. Anyway, so that's what I have there. And then here is that second book that I was telling you. This one is perfectly fine. Nothing happened to this one. It didn't come apart or anything like that. And um, that's the that's the second one. And then in here I have some 
cards, A5, that are just ready to go. And I have them in different colors. I have some um, all the way down to this color. There's some other colors at the bottom here. And I have matching envelopes. And then in this box here, right below it, I have some, yes, Amy Tangerine, capital letters. Oh my gosh, this was the best gift I ever received from one of my besties there, from uh, scrapbooking besties there, Christina. Thank you, Christina, once again. <laughs> and then I also have the lower case, which is in the bottom box here. Right there, and some of them fell over. But the, these are the lower case. All right, so that's what's in that. And I'll put those back on top of each other. There they go, fit nicely, along with the little book there. Okay, and then over here, I have my little Spellbinder Small Prisma, little die cut. That's a travel one that I take with me if I have to travel and I take the small die cuts with me, which I love. It works excellent. And then we have my microphone here with my pop filter on it. And then my, oh my gosh, ribbons. Nothing but ribbons. And they're all on there, draped on there. And I found myself using them more when I put them like that. And so th this thing used to be full, but I've been using them over time for cards and projects and stuff like that. So that is what's on the top of this area here. And it's just a small little tour of that. And it's um, ready to go and cleared off for the rest of the cubes that are going to be going up there. And then, yeah, that's it. So this is the bottom part of it here with all of my kits and things in there. All the way down here to the bottom. And this goes all the way to the back. And that's another thing. I don't know why I did this like this, but I'm definitely going to change it around because I can hardly get back to those cubes back there. So I need to change this around some kind of sort of way. Anyway, so that's it, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And um, if you have any comments or any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great and wonderful scrappy week.